guys, Kaz Pierce, and another experiment of mine where I've used some gooch, as I like to call it, some uh, super very, very dirty cup scraped off the bench. Um, and I've used it kind of as a bit of a background here. So I'm layering up onto a black flooded canvas with the idea that I'm going to do a swipe. Now look, I'm not really very good at doing swipes. I haven't had a lot of luck with doing swipes. They tend to not be very spectacular and the cell work that I get tends to be quite small and nothing to write home about. So here I've added white house paint that's been mixed as if it's artist paint with the flow trolls. So a mix of 50-50 with a bit of water. The other paints are all artist paints um, mixed up in that same way. And the dirty cup is, yes, all mixed from that same type of ratio, but like I said, scraped up off the bench as a result of other pours. Um, so you'll see when I swipe here and I've only got a small amount of the white I get some okay results but once again nothing to really write home about. I do get very immediate cell development but nothing really spectacular or pretty. But now when I turn it around and I work with this big big puddle of white that I've got there bit of hesitation but that's okay <laughs> we've all had that <laughs> performance anxiety um, when I swipe here I get the most gorgeous cells starting to form and in all truth I had other plans for this piece I was going to do more to it but once I saw that cell work at the top I thought, oh, okay, I'm not really going to do a lot more. I probably just wanted to improve on the lower half because um, I still had this big bulge of all that red paint across the middle there that I kind of felt I needed to get rid of. But the top half was just absolutely beautiful. So white satin, satin white house paint mixed up with the flow troll. Just gorgeous and super happy with this result. I think it looks like a bushfire. So yeah, thanks for watching.